Sailors, my name is Naomi and I'm also known as the Desert Sailor with BoatLove.com. So we're continuing with our coastal navigation practice question series. We're already assuming that you know how to do all of these things, because if you don't, you better go and practice them. <laughs> You'll have no idea what's going on. And then come back and practice with us. All right, so today we are going to look at how to find our estimated position. That's the square with the dot, and we're going to find it by using just one bearing and your ship's course heading. So finding our estimated position using one bearing and our ship's course heading. See you on the other side. Let's get to it. So this particular exercise, this question is saying, at 900 on September 26, 2002, you depart the number one flashing green for a second bell buoy located east of No Man's Land <laughs> Island and set a course of 80 degrees per ship's compass at 6.4 knots. At 10 o'clock, which is one hour later, you take a visual bearing of 319 degrees per ship's compass on the spire at Chilmark on Martha's Vineyard. What is your 10 o'clock estimated position? EP dot square. Okay, so we only have one bearing and we have our heading and it's 2002 and let's find the buoy. So I've already found, looked at this map, we're using the test map um, 1210, and uh, we found No Man's Island, which is right here off camera, and the buoy that we're leaving from at 9 o'clock is right here, and we are going to be heading somewhere in this direction. So first thing we do, as per usual, is set up our TVMDC table. So this is for question number Twenty-four. This is a test question, and I'm going to say no man's island, and it is September twenty-six, o two, and I'm just going to remind myself that in a previous previous video, I've already um, done the conversion with the compass rose or rose compass, and um, in two thousand and two, it's a sixteen degree. Um, to the west difference in magnetic variation. T, B, M, D, C. True vampires make dangerous companions. So our heading is um, zero is <coughs> zero eight zero per ship's compass, and this bearing that we took on the spire which I see is just right there, to Mark Spire. That was 319 degrees, and that was at 10 o'clock. We departed at 9 o'clock, and our speed was 6.4. Six, um, 6 nautical miles per hour, otherwise known as knots. And so over one hour, between 9 and 10, we actually traveled, at least in our dead reckoning, 6.4 nautical miles. <clears throat> so <clears throat> let's fill in the 16 magnetic variation here. Yikes. Sorry. And then our deviation here will be determined by the boat heading. So we have a deviation table that was given to us, and so we'll look for 80. So 80 is somewhere between 60 and 90 here, but it's going to be closer to 90. So we look over here for W, west. For west, and as we know, we use that same deviation for bearings. We don't look at the deviation table for the um, a deviation for this. It's always according to the boat's course. And as we go this way, 
when you see a W, you're going to subtract. So let's do 80 minus 4, 76, minus 16, 60. Three nineteen minus four three fifteen minus sixteen is two ninety nine. Then we just check to make sure that we did that correctly by going back the other way. Three ninety nine plus sixteen three fifteen, yes, plus four is three nineteen. Sixty plus sixteen is seventy six, yes, plus four is eighty, yes. Awesome. Okay, I think we're ready to plot. So let's plot our boat's course. Uh, which is zero six zero true. I place my triangle on the closest longitude line there and I spin it to find sixty. So this angle is the boat angle of course. And I need to slide that angle up to the flashing buoy that we're leaving from. And there it is, and I'll just draw a line from, I'll probably scooch it down a bit. Sorry if I'm blocking long enough to visually think about 6.4 nautical miles. Put a little arrow there saying that that's the direction I'm going, and then I'll indicate this line that it's September 26.02, and it is taken at um, 090. And that it is, let's use the compass heading, and it was 080 per ship's compass. Yeah. Now that we have this line, let's see where we think we might be at 10 o'clock, which is one hour later, which is uh, 6.4 nautical miles. So we go to our latitude uh, scale here, and um, there's 5, 6, and I'll just open this a little bit more. There's 4, 6.4. Let me test it again. Yep. And we put it on the buoy, and then we just make a little notch. So we'll put a little dot there and a half circle and mark that as 10. And that's our dead reckoning position. That's where we think we might be if there were no current, no leeway, and other stuff that's involved. Okay, but at 10 o'clock, we actually um, were, we took our um, bearing on that spire, and it was 299 degrees true. So let's plot that line of position, 295, 99, 299. And let's put bring that line will be this angle up through our bearing. So there's mark spire. Okay, so there's our line of position at ten o'clock. Um that was our bearing at 319 degrees per ship's compass. All right, so you're somewhere along this line on your course, somewhere along here, and that is quite far away from where you thought you might be um, with your dead reckoning. So where you're going to estimate where you are here is taking your right angle um, and doing a 90 degrees from that line of position up to the DR. So lining up your right angle, making it go through the DR, where it touches your estimated position based on one bearing which is a dot with a square around it. Mark it EP one zero zero.
zero, zero, 10 o'clock. Then you would take the coordinates based on the latitude and longitude, and that would be your position. Okay, how'd you do? I'm sure you did great. If you want a downloadable PDF of this whole procedure, you want to see diagrams and go through it again, visit boatlove.com, go to my blog, and search for the coastal navigation set category, and you'll find it there. You'll find all the other ones as well. And speaking of other ones, if you want to know when the next practice question is up, be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you get a notification, and I will see you the next time. Thanks for watching.